everybody, this is Paige from Mosaic Moments and today I am doing a demo on the ear to ear die set. Now as you can see, it does create a Mickey shaped design, which is the purpose of this whole bundle. So this bundle comes with the two ear to ear dies you see on the grid paper. It comes with these four extra one by one inch decorative dies. And it also comes with these three circles. So I'll show these. This one, you can fit one whole photo in the middle there. This circle is a layering piece and the smallest circle is so you can cut photos or paper to fit into those small ear sizes. All right, so it's quite a few dies for this set and this set. Anyway, now that you have been introduced to this ear to ear die set, let's get started with the demo. The first step is I'm going to create a base piece for my ear to ear dies. This is the three by five die from set B. You can get that in the basic die bundle and it's the same size as the ear to ear dies. So of course I rolled it through the machine. I'm using pattern paper and I'm going to do this one more time. So I have two of them to go with my ear to ear dies. Now I am going to cut with one of my ear to ear dies. This is the one that will go on, I believe the right side of the design. So I have some cardstock here and I'm gonna roll it through the machine. As you can see, the die is put in at an angle, which I highly recommend for this die so it can get a nice clean cut and it'll cut all the way through. All right, so this die does come with several pieces here I'm going to show you. So it has the frame piece that just came out from inside the die itself. So that's this one here. So that basically was cut inside the die and that's again the outline or the frame piece. It also comes with this half circle, which I don't use most of the time, but you can maybe use it on some of your pages. It also comes with this circle that fits with inside the ear. And it also comes with these extra pieces, which are filler. And instead of cutting those separately, I'm gonna have the background show through on those extra or filler spaces. All right, after this cut, I am going to cut with the other side or the die that creates the other side of the Mickey shape. Of course, I use the same exact instructions as before. You just roll it through the machine and get all the little pieces out and I'm gonna save the frame piece for my page. Now I'm going to use the circle pieces to cut one of my photos. You have two options here. This is the larger circle and so I could just cut my photo with that large circle, but I don't wanna do that this time. So instead I'm going to cut this with card stock, but I just wanted you to know that. That one big circle could be used with a four, cutting a four by six photograph. But if you cut the big circle with pattern paper or cardstock, you can use the next smallest circle in the set. This is basically the layering piece for that bigger circle. So that's what I decided to do for my scrapbook page today is cut this photograph with the smaller die just to give it a more interesting look. All right, now as you can see, it's pretty easy to cut with the circles. You just put it through the die machine and it's one simple cut and you're done. All right, so just now I was just using the layering circle die from this set. All right, so now I'm going to use the smallest circle from the bundle and again, this it's the same size as the ear part of the ear to ear die and I just used it to cut this pink cardstock. It's actually the same exact color as the pink cardstock I used earlier to cut that bigger circle. All right, now that I have all my pieces cut, I'm gonna use my repositionable glue. And again, these are the pieces that I cut with die set B and the paper will be showing through on some of the parts of my ear to ear die. Just now I placed both of the ear to ear die cuts onto my uh, pattern paper here. And as you can see, it makes that circle in the center. And that's where I'm gonna place that 
circular or that circle cut I made earlier with my photograph. All right, so I grabbed the piece of cardstock here so it didn't get glue on my page or the table. So basically you use your repositionable glue to glue around each corner and a little bit on the sides here and there. Make sure it's securely in place on your scrapbook page. All right, of course I place it on top of my base piece as I call it. It is a very thin die cut, so it is very fragile, so be careful when trying to glue it down. And the nice thing about having that rectangular block below it is that I can see that the shape is correct. Sometimes it looks a little bit warped. And you wanna make sure all the filler pieces that go inside will fit okay and that it looks straight on the grid paper, not crooked. By the way, for all the dies, the base pieces are optional. A lot of you have questions about, could I put the die directly on the grid paper? And yes, you can. It's just, you might find they get a little bit warped or a little bit crooked since they're so thin. So if that is frustrating you, definitely try out putting a base piece behind the thinner dies, such as this one or the X Factor or the Diamond Mine. All right, just a moment ago, I did glue down the other side of the ear to ear die. Same instructions, you put the glue around the edges and the corners. Just now I placed in that really big circle, the biggest circle in the bundle, right in the middle there. And now I'm placing my photograph right in the middle. You kind of have to just eyeball it. This was cut with that layering die size. So that smallest one obviously would not fill in that entire circle space. All right, next I get to just put in the ears. So it looks definitely like a Mickey design. All right, I just placed them on there so you can see that they fit right in that circle. And of course, all I need to do is glue the back of them with repositionable glue and you're done. So that's super easy. And I use cardstock for my page, but you can fill those with photos, which I've done. That's a really fun thing to do. And also where the princess pattern paper is, you could fill that with photographs as well. Now I'm going to be cutting with these filler dies in the bundle. I'm using the circular shape dies. There's also two dies that have an X shape in the middle. These are just fun little embellishments to fill in one inch squares. As you can see, it was really easy to roll it through the machine and mine popped out of the dies really well, so I didn't even need to use my tweezers. But if it does get stuck, you can use your tweezers to poke it out. And I don't need these four little corner pieces, so I'm just using my finger to get those out. And I'm done. I'm going to be cutting with this die a few more times to get all the little frame parts. So that cut, I did get that well, I call it the frame part that cuts with inside the die itself. And this time I'm going to grab the circles that this die creates to fill in the middle. So right now, this is the Create a Sticker Machine from Zyron. It is super easy to use and I love it for really small, intricate dies. It can be really frustrating to try to get glue on these small dies. So I love the Zyron Sticker Machine. It makes it super sticky. Right? There's always excess glue, so I usually rub it off with my finger. So as you can see, you just place it on the grid paper. And I'm also going to put in the little circles right here. Use the same instructions again, and then I'm going to place those right in the middle of these frame pieces. So super easy to use, just a simple decoration to fill the rest of your layout if you need to. Now I'm just taking the time to fill the rest of my space with this one inch decorative circle die. Just take your time as you line it up over the grid lines. I know my video is being sped up, but <laughs> I am taking my time and I've had a lot of practice doing this as well. But take your time as much as you need to. And of course I'm filling the rest of it in with the circular portion. And that's super easy because you don't have to worry about lining it up. And with that, my page is finished. So this is a really fun die to work with. You obviously have multiple options, the way you can do, whether you want to use pattern paper or photos, 
fill in the center, use the layering size in the center. You can do quite a bit of combinations. So if you are a Disney fan and go to the Disney parks, this is definitely a fun die you can use. Anyway, this is the end of our demo. If you enjoyed seeing the ear to ear die, definitely give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be updated on future demos and tutorials. All right. I hope you enjoy scrapbooking at home and I'll see you next time.